Yo guys, Drain here, and today we're gonna do something a little bit different. Normally in my survival videos I have one giant project that I start and finish within the same video. But sometimes there are projects that are a little bit small to have their own video, as they do not require 30 to 50 hours of time to do. So in this video I have compiled them together. What we will do is few small projects that are silly satisfying and just fun to do. We're gonna do things like building a sky-high cactus, because why not? Or building a soul sand desert, blowing up some stuff with TNT and burning down a woodland mansion. It's gonna be a lot of fun. So anyway, sit back, relax, I hope you enjoy and let's do this. Alright, so I'm currently at my mining desert and I... Did I really forgot to take down this tower? <laughs> Anyways, this is where in the previous survival video we mined a ton of sand, like this whole island and also that part over there. It was a whole grind and then we made a giant sandstone pyramid out of it. But that's not what... Excuse me? <laughs> So anyways, if we go to a part of the desert that hasn't been absolutely demolished. Alright, so I found a nice place in the desert. And what do you have in a desert, right? You have sand, you have bushes, but also you have cactus. And cactus is really interesting. It either spawns one block high, two block highs, or maybe even three block high. Now what's so interesting about this is that it can even grow higher. Now if you don't know how cactuses spawn in your world, basically they can spawn one block high, two block high, or three block high. But let's say the game tries to spawn two cactuses on the same block of a chunk, then it will stack them. Let's say there are six cactus blocks in a chunk. And if they so happen to spawn on the very same block in that chunk, you will have a six block high cactus. And there are actually communities out there that are searching for the highest cactus in Minecraft. And I believe the highest cactus ever found was 22 blocks. I might be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's very interesting. It's, I would love to see a cactus 22 blocks high. And also, why is it raining? <laughs> I know that updates mess up the biome boundaries sometimes, so maybe that has something to do with it. Anyways, I think my cactuses in my world aren't high enough, and I'm going to change that. I have three stacks of cactus right here, and that should be enough to create a really tall cactus. And there you go. Let's see, can I place another block? Oh, I didn't miscalculate. Okay, this is the largest cactus you've ever seen. <laughs> A lot of this is gonna get destroyed by the cactus. It's raining! Look at that, it's so satisfying. So, now we have a random cactus that goes to world height. <laughs> And it seems like we've only lost a few scaffolding. Oh, you think these are big? Like, three blocks? No, look at that. <laughs> oh, this looks so stupid. But that's the point of this whole video. It's all about stupid, silly projects that make no sense, but are just fun to do. Alright, that was fun. Now... Oh, come on. Now... We have one big cactus. It looks great. It looks absolutely majestic. Look at that. So now that we have made this val oh gosh, valuable addition to my world. Where is it? There it is. It is time to go to the next project. So I'm back over at my base now. 
and there's this chest here with my banners. These are all banners I got from entrating and killing the pillager guys. And there's this they're just sitting here. I've no way to show them off. So I'm gonna change that. I'm gonna find some spot where I'm just gonna place them down in a giant field of banners and hopefully it won't crash my game. So yeah, I'm just gonna gather these into the Shulka box, find a suitable spot to place them and yeah, I'm just gonna have some fun just placing banners. Alright, I think I'm gonna build it somewhere near my magical forest over here which looks so cool in the dark like wow let's go inside um, it is pretty deadly here at night so I hope there are no yep that's a creeper maybe I shouldn't do this I really hope there are no Ooh, I heard that okay nope I'm I'm out of here there is okay that nope 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 I'm just gonna oh <laughs> there's a spider on top of that tree hello sir oh gosh okay let's just parkour over the trees there's a skeleton right there let's just oh there's a zombie okay yeah this isn't this isn't ideal um where's my house uh, there's a house in the middle here somewhere oh there it is I should have a bed in there Let's go inside and sleep. <laughs> Did you see that? That that I I don't blow up. Okay. Okay, there's a skeleton right there. I think we're safe, but I'm not gonna place my banners inside of this thing here. I was actually looking for a plains where I could do that and it's far away from my base so it wouldn't lag out. And I think this is the perfect place. I have this I have this pillager tower right here and I'm gonna place all of my illager banners on this tree to show them who's boss. So Yeah. I'm just <laughs> I'm just gonna do this and I don't know, it's just I, I, what am I do, even doing? Let's just hang these absolutely everywhere. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, what are you gonna do about it, huh? But this isn't all of my banners. I still have a lot of magenta banners, so I'm gonna get to work and I'm just gonna place them down. It's gonna look beautiful in the end. Look at them. They're scared. They should be scared. Oh gosh, the frame rate. Okay, I should continue. We need more banners. Yep, that was the last stack. Look at it. Oh my goodness. This looks incredible. That's, oh gosh, the lag. For some reason the lag on the recording is actually less than the lag I can see right now, so... It shouldn't be that much of a headache to you guys. Look at that. that. That's a big... That's a big field of banners. When they spawn in, they're gonna be scared. They're like... They're gonna be like, oh gosh, what is this? What did they do here? My eyes, the leg. And then they're, they're gonna run off in that direction and... Leave me alone. That's... That's the plan. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with this, like... I had to do something with the banners and apparently that something is this. Anyways, this was another silly, stupid project. Let's continue to the next silly, stupid project. I think... yes. Would you look at this? I have a lot of TNT. And everybody loves TNT. You can blow stuff up with it. Which is exactly what I'm gonna do today. I want a giant hole right next to this tower somewhere. I don't know why, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. But I think it's gonna be fun. And I think it's gonna go right here. 
All right, this is a perfect spot for a hole. So, I am just gonna dig down. Hopefully I don't mine into lava or anything, that would be bad. So let's go down. Oh, oh, this is my mine. No, I can't, I can't do anything here. No, I, I can't, I can't. Let's find another spot then. You know what? Let's do it over here, maybe. Right in this forest. Alright, time to dig down again. So far no caves, no lava. Hopefully it stays that way. Oh, bedrock block leg. I just find myself some diamonds and I do hear lava, so I need to be careful. Okay, the lag is really bad today. Oh my goodness. So many ores, look at that. We find some diamonds. How many? Five? Don't mind if I do. So this right here is our first tunnel. Okay, so that's number one and then we go over by what like two or three blocks. Let's dig back down and let's just... Why is it dark? Oh, there's a tree. I'm gonna finish the four holes, fill them with TNT and then it's time to blow them up. All right, look at this. This is all the TNT I had and I have 10 more, but I'm not gonna put that down. So we have one row going all the way down to bedrock on all of the corners over here and over here and also one in the middle. And then only the top layer has an extra TNT block. I've never actually used TNT in this world, so this is gonna be a blast. Do, do you get it? Because it's it's TNT and it explodes, it's, it's a blast. Yeah, no, okay. Three, two, one, wait, 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 wait. Where am I gonna, okay, I'm gonna go on top of the tree over there. Three, two, one, Okay, 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 let's go on top of here. Uh oh, okay. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Oh my goodness. That destroyed the landscape. Oh my goodness, I'm so glad I didn't do this over there or something. Wow! Oh, look at the hole, that is amazing. Are there any diamonds down there? So we did find some diamonds while digging down, but it doesn't look like there are any other diamonds exposed. But that was pretty cool. <laughs> that was that was a lot of fun. I want to do this more often, but TNT is very expensive to make. And after my last video, the one with the pyramid I did, I just don't want to grind any more sand for like the next month. My original plan was blowing up a whole mountain, but one shulker box of sand and one shulker box of um, gunpowder only brought me like five and a half stacks of TNT. So that was it for this project. Let's continue to the next one. All right, so for this one, we need to head to my village right here and my 60 Pokeballs. This was actually the last project I did before I started my YouTube channel and made uh, my world tour video, which is pretty successful actually. It got like 13,000 views, so thanks a lot for that. Personally, I think that video was absolutely terrible as it was one of my first videos, but a lot of people seem to enjoy it, so I'm happy for that. Anyways, so, like I said, I'm at my old sheep farm, little village, and my Pokeballs. And over here, we have a giant pixel art of my YouTube logo. And this was actually the first, I think it was the first, survival project video on this channel. Again, it was boring, so don't go watch it. <laughs> but, in the end, I got myself a pixel art map of my YouTube logo in survival Minecraft. Now, unfortunately, I had to use terracotta for this one, so the green terracotta and white terracotta. Like, for example, they have 
this is this doesn't look like white right it, it's like skin color um, but on maps it actually shows like white and green instead of the cool dark green and the skin color so on a map I look like a vampire <laughs> or something um, I don't think I have a map anywhere near here but I have s I have one at base so I can show you later but I'm not here for the map I am here for the skeleton horses because during the making of this pixel art the skeleton horses spawned and I killed the um, skeletons on top of them and now I have four skeleton horses sitting here and I actually want to take them to the stable if you don't know I have some stables next to my tower where I had my horse but then in the nether update my horse just disappeared after the update it was really sad I have like one screenshot of him I can show you that on screen right now anyways these skeleton horses have been sitting here for half a year and I want to change that so I'm gonna take them home and put them in their new stables and it's gonna go terribly because that's how mobs are okay so the first part of the plan is to get them out of this pen and it doesn't seem to be working oh there we go come on the last one jump you stupid okay now the second part of the plan is to get them through that portal right there and I don't know it should be easy enough as long as there are no drowned with tridents shooting at the horses down there but then that's where the challenge begins right once we are in the nether they have a high chance of spawning inside of the obsidian blocks and they can also suffocate in the walls so yeah it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge hopefully they don't suffocate of course um, so first we need to go for a swim and they do not swim oh gosh why do they why do they not swim they, they they're drowning themselves no don't break the lead please don't break the lead yep they broke the lead oh gosh no yep I I lost them they're dead there are magma blocks down there oh no <laughs> oh no what have I done yeah I definitely lost two of them uh why did I why did I not check for bubbles? I saw them, but I didn't do anything. And they're drowned coming right after us. Okay, come on. Come on. Get on land, you two. Ah, uh, this is a nightmare. I'm gonna put one over here. There we go. No, I don't want to mount you. What are you doing? Come on. Okay, you... No, I... How do you remove the leads? Okay. So we're gonna have one that's stuck here. And the other one is gonna go through the portal. I really hope he doesn't suffocate. Come on. Okay. No, 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 no. I hear him. I hear him dying. Where is he? Where is he? I can't see anything. Did he die? He died. <sighs> we only have one horse left. We started with four. <laughs> oh, this is terrible. And why is there a drone down there? Okay. Buddy. What? Wait, what? Okay. Buddy, you're gonna have to come with me. The nether is not a safe place for you. Come on. Get in there. Maybe he needs to not be in the leash. Okay. No, I'm not, <laughs> I don't want to get on top of the horse. Come on. No. Okay, maybe if I go in underneath the boat. Yes. Okay, you're gonna have to come with me. We're gonna go on a little journey here. And I, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I gotta admit, this is actually really relaxing. 
The water sounds of Minecraft are amazing. Oh, look at this ass. He barely fits into the boat. And look at that. My industrial district looks so cool. Wow. That's my lighthouse right there. Oh, that's amazing that you can actually see it from this far. Finally at the docks. I can just park the boat here. And I'll pick you up I'll pick you up in a minute. I need to sleep first. <laughs> oh and also I guess I can now show you the pixel art. So yeah, as you can see my face is white, it's not skin color. And also this is I think cyan concrete, which looks way different than this bright blue. So it kinda messed up the whole thing, but I think it still looks really cool from afar. It's just I'm a vampire. <laughs> okay. We have a horse. And he is alive. Finally. And I'm actually gonna leave you at a leash right here. I have the perfect name for him. Doug. Back from the underworld. Yes. Doug is back. He is not dead. Okay, he, he might be dead, but he is back. Only without his his skin and flesh. But he he's back. So anyways, with that taken care of, it is now time for another project. Alright, let's see what I've left in my inner chest. That is not for now. We'll do this one later, later, later. Not for now. This one. Yes. I've seen a video recently where they only had a few of these blocks at the bottom on the ground and then the chorus plant just spread out so high up in the sky, it was crazy. And that is what I want to do today. Now I tested this in creative and of course in creative I have the random tick speed command. I set it to a thousand and it was pretty easy to grow this plant pretty big. But of course I'm doing this in survival, I don't have commands, this is gonna take a very long time. So I have gathered a lot of these chorus flowers, believe me it is so hard to get them, it's, it's not a fun process. But in the end I got like 4 stacks of them and today I'm gonna grow a giant flower out of it. And yeah it's, it's not growing very fast is it? With a thousand tick speed, this would have already grown pretty tall by now. Oh gosh, this is gonna take a very long time actually. Oh, look at that. It has already, it has already grown by one. Can you bone meal this? No, you can't. No! <laughs> oh, this is gonna be such a slow process. This is... Uh oh. I see a creeper. He's doing a little dance. Okay. Yeah, this might just take a little bit more time than I thought it would. Can you really not... Uh, oh, it grew by one. I guess they grow a bit faster than other crops in the game. But it's still gonna take a very long time because I have to wait for this one to fully grow up. Then I have to get on top of it and place new chorus flowers and then repeat that process until it is an absolutely huge cloud of purple. Forty minutes! It took me forty minutes to grow this single plant. If every plant is gonna take this long um, I, I, I don't know if I'm gonna continue with this, but we'll see. I still have time left, so I will at least try to make this as big as possible. Anyways, the next step here is to replace these blocks with the fresh new chorus flowers. So we're gonna break this and make a new one out of it. And there we go. So these are going to keep growing, as you can see, right? Oh gosh, it's thundering. 
These are just gonna keep growing and growing and I can't get on top of there. I can't get on top of there. Hopefully they don't grow into each other. Oh, come on. Because that will break the plant itself. But... Yeah, this is just my life now. Well, how did I take damage? This is my life now. I need to... Do... Okay. Place. There we go. So these are gonna keep growing. I'm just gonna keep doing this. Basically just... Replacing the chorus flowers with new chorus flowers. And I'll bring it back once my plant is just a little bit bigger. Alright, I am now one and a half hours into this and it has grown quite a lot actually. Um, but it is still way slower than I thought. I thought these things grew fast. <laughs> they do not. But I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm literally stuck. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to continue making this thing bigger and bigger. Oh, also if you're curious why I have this here. Um, once I've like changed one of these chorus fruits up there, I like to jump down and practice my MLG water bucket skills. Water can actually break these things, so that's why I have this border here. So if I place a water bucket down here, it won't break the whole plant. And also, I kind of realized that arrows can actually break these things. So if I, for example, shoot that one, you can see, yeah, it broke. <laughs> so if there are any mobs here, I need to be very careful not to hit this thing because otherwise it's all gonna go down <laughs> and that is not a good thing. Would you look at that? Yeah, this one grew a lot. And I actually need your milk, thank you very much, sir. So, yeah, it has grown quite a lot. <laughs> it, it is really big. It's already at the height of the roof of my storage tower right there. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm still working on it, but I think I'm gonna let this project rest for a while because it's taking an extremely long amount of time to do this. Like this took so long. So I will come back to this in another video. Maybe I will work on this off camera. So every video I can y show you a bit of progress. Now don't ask me the reason why I did this. <laughs> because it, it just looks cool. It looks so cool. But anyways, now it's time to work on our next project. Alright, so I want to make my desert a little bit more interesting and I want to turn it into a soul sand desert and I have two really big deserts in my world the one is my mining desert I'm not gonna build anything there but there's another desert which you might have seen in the previous video yes it's the one where I built my absolutely ginormous pyramid so this is our pyramid don't question why there are about a hundred desert wells in here um, but if we go through our diamond top, you can see, oh my goodness, this looks so cool. I'm so proud of this thing. So you can see that brown blob over there and I, I can't help but feel it looks a little bit stupid. <laughs> it doesn't look great. What is that? <laughs> I only gathered two shoko boxes of soul sand. So yeah, it's not a big area. Maybe I'll expand this in the future, but it's not something for today. What we are gonna do today is make this thing look cool. So. All right, so these are the shoko boxes that I have gathered. I got a ton of campfires. That's my leftovers from the soul sand. I've got a ton of lava buckets and this is from the other project, but I got these things. I want to create a soul sand valley, which is where the, where the bone blocks come in very handy. But first of all, it's in the overworld. And second of all, someone tried to camp in it. So that's what the green wool and stuff is for. So I want to create a little tent as if someone was camping here. Um, I also want a lava pool here in the middle. That's where the lava buckets are for. Um, and also the campfires to put underneath so it would create smoke. If I put all of that together, I think this little area should look really, really cool. 
All right, so the first thing I want to do is make a lava pool. So I'm going to have to dig out a little bit over here. Maybe this is a little bit too big. And underneath our lava pool, we're going to place down some of these campfires. As you can see, they are going to create some smoke particles and they and the smoke particles should travel through the lava and make it look like it's burning. Maybe one more over here. There we go, and now we grab our lava buckets and we're gonna pour it over the campfires. I hope it won't destroy them. Nope, we're good. Alright, and now we need to fill this lava pool with lava. Alright, we now have our lava pool, absolutely beautiful, I know. Now we need to make this into an actual soul set valley. And I'm gonna do so by adding some fire and bone blocks. So maybe we do something like this <laughs> is that what they look like i think so yeah that looks that looks kind of cool i guess <laughs> so you might be wondering why am i not just going to an actual soul sand valley and build something cool there well there's one problem and that problem is called guests guests blow up so much blocks very easily and they're also skeleton they're gonna make it hard for me to build anything so i just have to make my own biome in the overworld it's a very tiny biome maybe the details will make it look a little bit better and i think with this this should complete our little connect collection of skeletons here now that we have made some weird bone structures we can now start working on the details I already mentioned I wanted to have a camp here that is like kind of abandoned and stuff. So let's place our beds right here. And now we're gonna make a tent around it. So it's gonna go something like that. I think this looks a little bit better. So the next step is to make it look like it's falling apart so that's where these carpets come in very handy i think that looks good let's also place a little campfire over here perfect and to make this place look even better i can use some oh gosh i can place some cobwebs in here maybe that looks good maybe underneath these bone structures as well all right i'm curious can you place dead bushes on top of soul sand you cannot. Can you do a soul soil? No. Well, there goes my plans for that one. I, I remembered something. This was the, this was the thing I forgot to do. Add fire, of course. Oh, how can I be so dumb? This is gonna make it look really, really cool. Yes. Maybe not overdo it. Oh, this looks amazing. All right, this this was a thing I forgot. That's why it was looking so bare and empty. This looks a lot better. Well, not really, because it looks like I just spammed fire everywhere, which is actually the case. But look at this. We got ourselves our mini biome. We got our own soul sand valley with bones, with a little abandoned camp. With a lava pool which we can swim in. Look at that. Amazing. This was another fun little build. And now there only is one more project left. Now for this one we need to travel just about 14,000 blocks. Luckily I've already... Whoa. It would be nice if the chunks would, would load in. Thank you, Minecraft. But luckily I've already made an ice boat highway tunnel through the nether, so we should be able to get there relatively fast. And you might be wondering, what is at the end of the tunnel? It's a nether portal, and if we go through the nether portal, we will find a woodland mansion. Here we are. So, about a year ago I looted this mansion, and I haven't really done anything with it in the meantime. I think that is about to change today. As you see on the carpet here, I've already kind of been looting this thing and I've put it together in this shulker box. So you can see I looted a lot of libraries and I got myself a lot of carpet, which is easy to get using a water bucket just like that. 
So we've done a lot of fun projects today, but I think this one is going to be the most satisfying. You see, there's this thing in my inventory, you might have spotted it already. It is a flint and steel, and I think you can already guess what my plan is. I want to burn it down. <laughs> That's what we're going to do for the last project of this video. I want to see the world burn, or at least its woodland mansion. So let's go down here and... I think we're gonna start right here on the carpet because it burns really well. And yeah, we're just gonna see how far the fire goes. I'm only gonna light one fire. And I just need to make sure it doesn't go out or something. It's not spreading very fast. It's not doing anything really. Is it even real? Yes, it's real. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's a weird fire. Huh. You know what? Maybe we should just put it on the wood right here or something. Maybe this will spread. Come on. Oh, I forgot about that. So in my world, I have fire, fire spread turned off. Just because I'm scared that if I make a fireplace, my my house will burn down. So, yeah, I think this is going to spread a little bit better here. Yes, look at that. Oh, yes, burn. What's underneath? Oh, okay. Um, you know what? Screw it. Just, just make fires everywhere. <laughs> burn everything. Burn everything. Burn the world. Oh, this is just beautiful. Look at it. It is getting really laggy. <laughs> I can tell you that. Oh, also the forest. Yeah, the forest is gonna burn down too. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is amazing. Oh, there's a creeper there. Wait, that's a zombie. You're not a creeper, sir. Oh yeah. <laughs> can you feel the frames? There is a lot of things happening here. Wow. Let the world burn. Let's let's see what it looks like here. Everything is burning. It's beautiful. This isn't enough. We need more fire. More fire. Now that is a little bit better. Wow. Ouch. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. Come on, let the world burn. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Okay, let's go to the next floor. Oh, there's a chicken. Yeah, burn the chicken. That's what I want to see. Oh gosh, my frame rate. Burn everything. <laughs> oh gosh. This is like spleef or something. Burn the... Burn the pillager. Burn him. <laughs> okay, you know what? I've done enough. Let's get out of here. Oh my goodness. Look at that. <laughs> the whole thing is just burning down. Oh, that's beautiful. I need to sleep. You can definitely see the fire through the windows. Oh, this this looks amazing. Look at that. We need more fire. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love destruction. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Oh, wow. I can make like a parkour map out of this or something. Oh my goodness. There are still a lot of blocks left, so... Oh, there's a zombie. Is it just me, or is this... Hey! Uh-oh. You might actually kill me. It's still not enough, though. This is still alive. We need to burn it down. Oh, gosh. I'm on fire again. Burn the world! Oh. 
If you ever want to make like a fun parkour map, you can literally just burn down a woodland mansion. You can try to parkour on what's left after. Well, that was my last flint and steel. <laughs> oh, this looks so cool. It's all so destroyed. Look at it, the hallways, everything. I don't know why, but I love this. It's so cool. <laughs> Well, now that we turned this mansion into cheese... Oh, can I get out? There we go. This was it for today. I want to thank you so much for watching. This was a fun episode. A lot of variety. I really hope there was at least one project you found fun to watch. I really hope you enjoyed. I certainly did. And I want to thank you again so much for watching. And I'll see you, hopefully in the next video. Goodbye!